friends, Sleepy here, and welcome to a new pickups video. Got some more great stuff to share with you guys, so we'll start off here. Uh, first up, I got a couple Xbox One games from my local GameStop. First game I picked up was a copy of Titan Quest. Uh, this is a really cool game. It's similar to like Diablo. It's a top-down action uh, RPG. I never really even heard of this game uh, until I saw a post recently on Facebook. Somebody recommended getting it, said if you like Diablo games... Uh, you'll definitely enjoy this, so I picked it up and was very uh, happy. It's a really fun game. It was only $30 new, so that's awesome. Uh, now, this is actually a port of an old PC game. So this was originally released on PC back in 2006. For some reason, they decided to port it for Xbox One, PS4, and soon the Nintendo Switch. So, you know, there's not a lot of information about this game. Uh, when I went to GameStop, the guy didn't even know about it, and they only had one copy. That's the other thing about this, is this is extremely, had a low print run. None of the other retailers I went to even had copies. I went to Best Buy, they didn't have any. I went to Walmart, they didn't have any. Target had none. And any of my local game stores didn't have it. And a lot of people never even heard of it. So, if this is something you want to get, uh, you know, if you like those kind of Diablo clone type games, I recommend getting a copy now. Because eventually you're not going to be able to find this. And this is going to become one of those pricey and rare uh, games to find. Now, you do have a chance to get some on eBay. I have seen uh, a couple copies on there for the $30 price. Uh, but if you uh, want to get a copy, I definitely recommend getting it now. It's a very fun game. Uh, game's currently on Xbox One. Having a lot of fun. I've already put in a lot of hours into this. I definitely recommend check your GameStop and uh, get a copy if you want to. Because eventually you won't be able to get these. So, super happy to have that. Next up, uh, another game here. Uh, never heard of it. Just looked really fun. This is Black Guards 2, the limited day one edition. Included a digital art book and soundtrack, which I downloaded from the site. And that one is complete. Uh, really cool. Uh, the game looked really interesting from the gameplay I saw. So I said, hey, for 11 bucks, I'd try it out. So that was cool. The other uh, game I got for the Xbox One was a copy of Dungeon 3. The Extremely Evil Edition includes Dungeons 3, a unique throne room DLC, and the digital soundtrack. Now, this was used, but the guy at GameStop just gave me a brand new copy. said, here, you can have this, and it was only $11. So, definitely want to uh, check it out. And I'm not going to say no when they give you a brand new copy for the used price. And it's still sealed, as you can see. So, that was a really cool bonus to get. So, you know, a lot of people have bad things to say about GameStop. But there's a couple local to me that the people who work there are really friendly. And I've never really had too many issues with them. So, yeah, I don't think they're the best company in the world, but I also don't hate them at the same time. You know, I can get some good stuff there, and there's some really nice people, at least at the ones I have locally. Next up, I got three games I picked up at a family video that's a local chain of video rental stores. You can rent movies and video games and stuff, and they're in several different states uh, in the U.S. A uh, really cool place. I like going there renting stuff, and I also like buying used games from them and they had a sale uh $7.99 or three for $21 so I got some PS3 games first up was Ratchet and Clank into the Nexus which it has the digital code for the bonus Ratchet and Clank quest for booty uh digital game which another nice thing is they don't give out the codes uh when they rent games so the code's unused so I will be able to redeem that and it is uh, complete, so that was really cool. Definitely like the Ratchet and Clank games. I'd like to uh, try this one out. Never played it. I also had Ratchet and Clank Future Tools of Destruction. So really cool. Another one complete with everything. Very excited to try this one out. I uh, have not played this one, but I love the Ratchet and Clank series, so that was awesome. And then I also got a copy of Extreme Legends Dynasty Warriors 8 for the PS3 which I have the regular Dynasty Warriors 8 on Xbox One, but they never released the Extreme Legends or Empires or any of the other versions other than on Sony consoles. So I had to grab it, it was complete, and only uh, you know seven bucks with that uh, deal is a steal for these, because Dynasty Warriors games in my area seem to always hold their value, and they always want 10, 20, 30 bucks for them. So super excited to get that. Definitely want to pop it in, because I love Dynasty Warriors, Samurai Warriors. One of my favorite series. I've played all of them. You know, there's just tons and tons of them. I just love them. It's mindless hack and slash fun, but very fun games. Next up, I got some PS2 titles that I got from my brother when we went to a Salvation Army. They're all priced at $1.99 each. First up is 
Spider-Man Web of Shadows. This is the Amazing Allies Edition, which I have this on Xbox 360. Very fun title. So now I've got the PS2 version. That was neat to get. I also got a copy of Sega Genesis Collection. So this has a whole bunch of old uh, Sega Genesis games, 28 classic games, Alex Kid and the Enchanted Castle, Bonanza Brothers, Kid Comedian, Flicky, Pain Ground, Fantasy Stars 2, 3, and 4, and more. So really cool compilation to get, and it is complete. You know, you can't go wrong for $1.99. I also had a copy of Soul Calibur 2, which I already have one, but mine's really beat up. So this will be a nice replacement, and it is also complete with the bonus uh, Namco Transmissions Volume 1.03 demo disc. So very, very cool to get that. Can't beat a dollar ninety-nine, and then a copy of Gauntlet Seven Sorrows, which I have this on Xbox original, but not the PS2 version. So glad to get that. Really fun game, I recommend, and a dollar ninety-nine. So those are awesome uh, stuff to get. Uh, we were doing a little game hunting that day, and we saw those at Salvation Army, so he picked those up for me, and for cheap, can't say no. Now I'll move on to some stuff I got from the game store. Picked up a Nintendo 3DS game, which. You know, my 3DS collection is really small, but I keep it to only titles I really want. And I saw this there for a good price, and that was a copy of Mario Luigi, Superstar Saga, and Bowser Minion. So this is a re-release of the old Game Boy Advance game, which I beat that one, loved it. So, you know, I thought I'd like to go back through again. And for 30 bucks, you know, it was a good price, because this is like 45 here, you know, 40 bucks new, but some places charge a little bit more. I was excited to get that. It's currently in my uh, 3DS. Played a little bit, and man, does it bring back the memories because I haven't played this game in years. So, super fun game. Definitely recommend. If you like the Mario and Luigi series, uh, and you don't have the old Game Boy Advance one, or even if you do, you know, and you want to relive it, pick it up for the 3DS. It's a fun remake. Really good title. Picked up an Xbox One game from them, and that was a copy here of Mighty Number no. 9. And this said it included the Ray expansion and Retro Hero DLC plus art book and poster so it was complete with everything and the nice thing is the code was not redeemed at all by the previous owner so to get this used it was only nine bucks it was really uh cool and i know this had a lot of backlash with the uh, people backing it and stuff like that the controversy and some people didn't like it but i wanted to try it out and for nine bucks you know i can't really go wrong so happy with that last thing from the game store i got was a wii u title and this is shantae half genie hero and this is the Risky Beats edition, which includes a soundtrack. It's brand new, still sealed in a big box. That's why I grabbed it. I've heard good things about the game. And this was only, I think, like $15 brand new. You know, I cannot say no for a Wii U game uh, for 15 bucks. So definitely want to uh, try it out here. I'll probably just leave this one sealed, and I'll just buy another uh, normal version of the game used to try it out because I want to keep it uh, for the collection. Definitely excited to have that. Now we'll move on to stuff here from eBay. And first thing I grabbed here, I don't remember how much it was, but it wasn't very expensive. I think it was like, geez, $16, $17. So I guess it could be, you know, considered a little expensive, but very rare to find. And that is the Call of Duty Finest Hour uh, playing cards. Now, if you remember my last pickup video, I said I got the DVD uh, bonus but I needed to get the playing cards and the poker chips. So this is the second part of the set. When you pre-ordered the game, you got that DVD. You got this deck of cards, and you also got the poker chips. So now I finally have the second part of the set. Now I just need to track down a copy of the copy G's. I just need to find the poker chips to complete that pre-order bonus. So very happy with that. Next up here is uh, Behind the Scenes, King of Fighters, Maximum Impact. This was released on Xbox and PS2, but only the PS2 version uh, came bundled with this bonus uh, DVD. Really cool. Wanted to get it for the collection to check out. I think it was only like five bucks or something shipped. So definitely happy to have that. Next up, this was uh, $11. And this is another promotional DVD. And this was The Making of True Crime New York City. Really cool. It's got a lot of uh, great behind the scenes stuff uh, about the game. There's a lot of promotional stuff for True Crime. I've picked up quite a bit of things. And this was definitely another great addition. Brand new, and it was only $11 shipped. So that was definitely a great uh, piece for the collection. Uh, next up here, I actually found two of the movie passes for the Xbox that I needed. Now, these don't have the movie passes in them. These are just the cases, but I already have the movie passes that I picked up in those PS2 and GameCube copies. The first one here was 
robots. So it's got the thing there. So I will put that copy with the man of movie pass in this. And now I've got this one to knock off the list. So that's great. That brings me down to needing four. And I think that one was like five dollars. The other one here, this one was five dollars, was Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. It has the sticker on it, which is great. And it is complete. So I'm gonna put the manual, geez, the manual, the movie pass from that GameCube version in this one, and it'll be complete. So that knocks me down to only needing uh, three more games, and I'll have my uh, movie pass variant set complete. So that was awesome. And the last item from uh, eBay, very happy to get this. I've been after this for years. My buddy Rick and one of my uh, Facebook groups uh, sent me the link for this, and it was brand new. I don't remember what I paid. I think it was 12 or 13 15 I don't remember how much now, but it wasn't that expensive, but it's a copy of Rainbow Six Three, and this is the big box version that comes with the headset. Super rare to find these days. It's also still brand new and sealed. You know, it's a little beat up. You can see someone moved the sticker there, uh, but overall, it's in really good condition. I'm going to leave this bad boy sealed because I already have a loose copy of the game, anyways. So why would I need to open it up? And I've also got a regular uh, version as well to play. Uh, super happy to get this. Thank you so much, Rick, for helping me find this. Been after this for years. One of the good, I just had no luck. He found it on eBay for me, sent me the link, and I jumped on it right away. So that was awesome. Another thing here, I uh, almost forgot the, from eBay. This is a promotional item. It was expensive. It was like $50 with like $6 shipping. Uh, but I had to grab it because originally it was 100 They had a sale going on. And that was a shoulder bag for The Hobbit video game. And what's just really cool is uh, somebody in one of my Xbox groups on Facebook told me that this was actually, these were given away to GameStop managers back in the day when this game was released. And it's got a lot of pockets and stuff. I don't want to, you know, open it up, but it's in really good condition. Super excited to have this. You know, I like promotional stuff. So this will definitely be a great addition to my collection. So super happy to have that. And the final thing here is a gift for my brother. And it's a collector's edition. Now he was buying this uh, when we were at BAM, which is Books a Million, if you don't have one. He wanted to get this because it came with a statue and he was buying it simply for that to put in his cabinet when he got home because he has a house now. He wanted to just put some stuff on display. He was going to buy this uh, just for the statue, give me the rest of the contents. And that was the Battlefield 1 Collector's Edition, which came with the statue. It's got a exclusive cloth propaganda poster. It's got the steel book. It's got a deck of playing cards. It's got a messenger pigeon too with exclusive DLC content, a patch, and of course the big giant box. Uh, this was only $25, brand new. They had a few of them. Uh, he picked it up with the intention of taking the statue home and giving me the rest of the contents. Uh, when he was dropping me off, he just decided, you know what, man, you can just have everything on it. He's like, I decided I don't want it. You can just have it for your collection. I know you'll enjoy it more. So very cool to get this bonus item. The only thing that's stupid is it does not include a copy of the game. I don't like how they're doing that uh, with some collector's edition these days by you buy the collector's edition, but you don't get the game with it. Like, that's stupid. Why would I buy it? So I would never have bought that brand new at retail. You know, for like $25 is a good price, but whenever they want it, probably like 100 bucks or something for it. Nope, I would not buy it. That is just stupid. If I'm buying $100, $200 for a collector's edition, I expect to get a copy of the game. So, still happy to get it, though. It's really neat. Good piece to have in the collection. You know, I'm just going to leave it sealed. Uh, we'll have to buy a copy of the game uh, for it. You never played it before, so I'll have to grab a copy sometime for the Xbox One and try it out. All right, guys, that's everything I picked up. I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, be sure to uh, hit me up on uh, Facebook. I have a page created for this uh, youtube channel it's facebook.com slash asian sleepy one i also uh, have several different gamer tags uh for different consoles the xbox sony playstation uh, nintendo consoles if you guys want to ever play games multiplayer i uh, have my uh screen names down below you know be sure to send me a friend request i'll add you and maybe we can play some games together all right guys take care have a wonderful day and sleepy. We'll see you guys next time.